Opera Manager today will essentially become an AI Opera Manager in the coming few years. Over 70% of companies today have admit that they have been using AI into daily operations, and more than half of the VC funding last quarter went to AI startup. Obviously, AI is the future. However, most product managers today still have challenges and break into AI product management. In this video, I'm going to break down what is a data product manager, what does data manager actually do, what the roles and responsibilities, so you're able to get this clear blueprint to understand what it takes for you to become an AI product manager. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you the, all the free resources to help you get started on your AI product management career journey. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader in this channel at Top of Tech Trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe to a new video every Tuesday. I started my AI product management career over 10 years ago and I launched the very first AI Smart Cities product that received the Mayor's Best Practice Award and our team were invited to present our product at NVIDIA GCP conference. Now I'm going to tell you my personal experience in real life, how to build AI product and what kind of roles and responsibility does AI product manager do. Now let's get started. First of all, what is an AI product manager? It's very simple. An AI product manager oversees the development and implementation of artificial intelligent product. And AI product manager is mainly working on three things. It's a perfect combination between business, data, and technology. Now, how it's different from traditional product management is actually quite simple. One word, data. As an AI product manager, we need to go above beyond than traditional what product manager is doing. For example, as an AI PM, we need to evaluate what kind of application is suitable for AI, how to evaluate the model quality, and do you build your model in-house or you leverage your existing large language model on the market right now. We also need to validate AI hypotheses and design the data pipeline with the engineering team. And then we are going to use the traditional product management methodology, which is conduct voice customer interviews, building MVP with the engineering team, and design the go-for-market strategy of our product. At the same time, AI product manager is also responsible for the scalability of the AI product. As we all know, AI has hallucination. So there's a data drifting, concept shift, lots of different things are happening. So we need to manage the entire end-to-end -end experience of an AI product. I made a separate video talk about the five unknown differences between traditional product manager versus AI product manager. Make sure to check out this video right here. I'm also on the link in the description of the show note. What does an AI product manager actually do day to day? Now, let me lay out the daily roles of responsibility for an AI product manager. Number one, if you take a look at all those AI product manager job responsibilities out there, you can find out there's a trend out there. All AI product managers are responsible for creating the product strategy and the vision of developing and the deploying AI product. The AI product strategy is quite different than traditional product management strategy because in addition to product strategy, we need to understand the fast evolving space of AI and how to outbeat the competition, especially lots of technology just data are two weeks ago. Now there's a new model out there. We need to be very fast in terms of adjusting to the changing landscape and have a long-term strategic vision for the AI initiatives. Second is manage the end-to-end -end AI product management cycle end-to-end. -end. So as I mentioned earlier, the AI product manager is starting with the entire AI hypothesis, validating those models, understand what kind of scenario is we must use AI or AI is just good to have. So all those are part of the initial phase of AI hypothesis. And then they go to MEP phase, eventually go to product launch phase. Now the third key responsibilities for AI product manager is measure model product performance and making data-driven decision. And sometimes you build your model in-house with a team of data scientists, and sometimes you directly use the existing large language model by working with the AI engineers. Number four, AI product manager needs to learn how to lead cross-functional team, 
including data scientists, AI engineers, AI designers, and the legal compliance departments as well. Number five, which define problem statements suitable for AI. There are three types of AI product. The product cannot function without AI, such as self-driving car. You can create brand new experience leveraging AI, such as AI chatbot, or add on additional feature powered by AI to an existing product, such as tax prediction for Gmail. When you validate what situation you need to use AI, you must use AI hypothesis framework and have invented. I have a deep dive 30 minutes free talk teaching you how to use AI hypothesis to validate different AI ideas on why 70% of today's AI product fail and how to fix it. You should go to this website and start to uh, check out this free training. I'm also going to link it in the description of the AI hypothesis world, a lightning talk. And then a product manager still need to write product requirement documentation, prioritizing product features on the roadmap, managing your backlogs, and defining MVP. And AI product manager also need to define the go-to-market strategy of your AI product because at the end of the day, if nobody wants to use your product, you're not a successful AI product manager. There's also something special AI product manager do, which is ethical and AI compliance. If you want to dive deeper regarding what's a day in life as an AI product manager, you can check out this video right here. I'm using my real life example showing you behind scenes stories. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Now here comes the bonus tip how to get started on your AI product management journey. And number one, I have lots of free courses, resources, I highly recommend everyone to learn to brush up your AI skills. For example, this course, learn the fundamentals of generative AI for real world applications. Uh, there's also lots of free YouTube videos that I believe is so outstanding and you can start learning for free. For example, Gen AI in a nutshell in the age of AI, only 17 minutes that give you overview of Gen AI right away. There's also free lecture by Andrew Wan about agentic workflow and how it's a game changer for the entire AI era. I discovered 10 other free resources. I'm also going to link in the description of this video so you can watch all of these for free. After learning all those free content, you should start to build your AI product portfolios to demonstrate your skill set and knowledge about AI. And third, I highly everyone to gain hands-on experience using AI and building real-world AI product with a team of developers and data scientists. This is the best way for you to really stand out in the competitive job market today. If you're interested in getting matched with a team of AI developers to build real-life AI product with coachings uh, and starting your own AI startup, you can check out our AI PM Bootcamp. I'm going to link it in the description so that you can learn more. Number four, you should get started with creating a clear AI product manager resume to help you land your first AI PM interview. You can download the free AI PM resume template with guaranteed interview opportunities after you implement the entire keywords on those templates. Feel free to go to this website and download those templates for free today. Within AI product management, the traditional ML, AI, ML product manager, there's also Gen AI PM. And nowadays the trend is all moving towards Gen AI PM. And I made a separate video breaking down in depth regarding the only three ways to become a Gen AI product manager this year. Make sure to check out this video right here. If you like any of the free tips today, make sure to like and comment, subscribe to the channel. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXCenter.io. See you in my next video right here.